Are you frustrated by the limited amount of Apple Watch faces that come with your Apple Watch? But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install thousands of new faces on your Apple Watch, and we've got some premium Apple Watch faces from Buckle and Band like these to give away free. So, keep watching. Hey there, welcome to the video. So as you may know, as an Apple Watch owner, your Apple Watch comes with a limited amount of faces. Now, they are pretty nice faces, but do you wanna put on some custom faces, maybe some designer ones? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that using a watch app called Clockology. So let's just jump into it and I'll show you what you need to download and how it works. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video because I'll be showing you how you can download the premium Buckle and Band watch faces free of charge as well. So the first thing you need to do is grab your iPhone, head to the App Store and download an app called Clockology Watch Faces. This will download the app both to your iPhone and to your Apple Watch. Now, once it's downloaded, you should be able to go to your Apple Watch and you'll see that the Clockology app is installed. If it hasn't installed for any reason, all you need to do is go to the Watch app for iPhone and then go down and uh, if you look at this list here, you can see we've got a list of our installed apps. Now, as I scroll down, you can see Clockology is there. If it's not installed on your Apple Watch, it will actually have a install button at the bottom here. Like you can see here, I've got one password, battery planner, which are not installed. And you can install that from there. Now, next up, the next thing you wanna change is how the app actually interacts with your phone and how your Apple Watch screen turns on and off. So the first thing is go to general, then you wanna scroll down to the bottom until you see this return to clock setting. Tap that, and then you can see here, I've got it set to after two minutes. Now you wanna change this to after one hour. And what does this do? Well, this is the return to clock. Because this isn't an official Apple Watch face, it's actually an app running on your Apple Watch. So after two minutes, it's gonna close that app and then go back to your native Apple Watch face. So you wanna make sure you change that so when you use Clockology, it doesn't turn off and go back to a standard Apple Watch face. So now we've downloaded that, we need to download a beta file to enable the syncing between the iPhone app and the Apple Watch itself. So I'll put a link in the description below because I think this does always change over time. I'll also put a link to that on the Buckle and Band blog as well if you wanna uh, get that download. So now you have these things installed, the next thing you need to do is actually find some new Apple Watch faces. Now, there's a couple of really good places to get these faces. The first one is the Clockology fans page on Facebook. You can join this and then loads of fans are making Apple Watch faces, everything from kind of replica Rolex faces to brand new original designs, and they are all free. So join that Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description below and you can get those there. Now, because the Rolex and the Casio ones are all uh, um, kind of copyrighted. I'm not going to put a link directly to those faces so you can hunt those there. The second place, if you want some really premium, um, luxury looking watch faces, you can get our original buckle and band ones. Now, these will cost in the future, but at the moment, we're giving these ones away absolutely for free. So, again, I'm going to put a link in the description below and on the buckle and band website so click that and i'll show you how you can install those and this is how you install the other ones as well but i'll show you using the example of the premium buckle and band one so let's get into the iphone so once you've downloaded the beta file to clockology that will enable you to sync your watch faces now if you follow that link to the buckle and band website you can download the buckle and band official watch faces to your apple files app so i've actually installed them into the clockology file here uh, and once they're done all you need to do is simply go to the clockology app tap the little import button at the top here and then select one of the watch faces that you want to import so i'm going to import this buckle and band roman numerals one i think this is absolutely beautiful uh, you can see it appears here nothing happens on the apple watch yet and it's because you need to tap this little orange icon here once i do that with the app open so I tap that again there we go we now have the buckle and band watch face directly on the apple watch itself so again if you want to install another one simply go back tap the import but import button at the top here let's install the stainless steel version of the buckle and band watch face let's tap that again it's going to take a second or two you sometimes need to do it twice so i'm going to tap that there and there we go we've now got the stainless steel buckle and band premium watch face there on our apple watch and this will stay on your apple watch if you close out of it completely it will go back to one of your other 
genuine Apple Watch faces. So you will need to open Clockology and just leave it running. And that's essentially how you will display one of these Clockology watch faces. So it's a bit of a faff, but it's a great way of having just a different watch face for a night out. So let's scroll across again. Let's have a look at some of these. There we go. And we're back around to the buckle and band watch face. So now you have some beautiful new faces on your Apple Watch. Now, the only issue with these faces is that they are running as an app. These are not native Apple Watch faces, simply because Apple has not opened up the App Store to allow for native faces that can use things like complications and other things. So these are fan-made faces, and they do look pretty cool. But as I mentioned, they do run as an app, which means you do have to leave the Clockology app running on your Apple Watch. Now. Does it drain the battery a little bit more? I'm not really sure. I think it drains mine a, a slight bit more. I've been testing it out over the last few days. It's not a big deal. And of course you can turn it off and on at any time. I tend to use the buckle and band ones when I'm on a night out and I just want my Apple watch to look much more like a kind of luxury timepiece than just a, a digital smartwatch. So have a play around. Let me know, did you find that helpful? Are you using Clockology app and have you downloaded the buckle and band faces? Let me know, would love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out our other Apple Watch playlists up here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.